The posthumous revelations surrounding the late Matthew Perry have brought to light a darker side of the beloved, friends, actor. Sources close to Perry have alleged that he was not only battling addiction but also exhibited verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive behavior. Perry's untimely death, attributed to the acute effects of ketamine, according to the autopsy report, has sparked discussions about his struggles with substance abuse. Despite Perry claiming sobriety during his book tour for Friends, Lovers, and The Terrible Thing, there are assertions that he may have been less than truthful and still engaged in drug abuse. Insiders have spoken out anonymously describing Perry as someone who caused pain and played the victim. They claim he was so deeply entangled in his addiction that he deviated from his true self. The sources suggest a pattern of behavior where Perry would escalate situations, casting himself as the victim and leaving those around him on an emotional roller coaster. One specific incident in March 2022 has been highlighted, involving a confrontation between Perry and his then best friend, Morgan Moses. Concerned about Perry's potential abuse of prescription drugs, Moses reportedly faced physical aggression. Perry allegedly threw her into a wall, hurled objects at her, and shoved her onto a bed, marking a disturbing escalation of his behavior. Following the incident, Perry's efforts to salvage the friendship reportedly failed, and Moses left the relationship. The actor was said to be mortified by his actions, panicking as he realized that his closest confidant had distanced herself. Furthermore, allegations of abuse have extended to Perry's past relationships, with an ex-girlfriend claiming emotional and psychological mistreatment, she asserted that Perry not only abused her but also facilitated her addiction to drugs, including oxycodone and painkillers. It's crucial to note that the circumstances surrounding Perry's death remain unclear, with the autopsy report attributing it to ketamine's acute effects. However, questions arise as his last known medical treatment occurred over a week before his passing, indicating that the ketamine in his system may not have been from therapy, considering its short half-life. These revelations shed light on the complexities of Perry's life, prompting reflection on the challenges he faced and the impact of addiction on personal relationships.